what he done in my case. Amen. Yeah. Right. And God being no respective person, mm -hmm. when you come to that climatic time in life mm -hmm. and you cry out to God, mm -hmm. he will hear your prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All he ever looked for mm -hmm. was someone who would worship him in the beauty of holiness. Yeah. Right. To do all they can do, mm -hmm. the best they can do. Right. Not try to match nobody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. 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 Lord, I'm doing the best I can. Amen. May not be as fast as that brother way ahead of me. Amen. Or that sister way ahead of me. All right. But if you look back, Lord, All right. I'm still coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I'm still here. Hallelujah. God is a merciful God. Yes. And he's a prayer answering God. Yes. Never forget that truth. Right. And never. I don't care what the condition looks like. Yes. And whatever the circumstances may be. Yes. Prayer will change a circumstance. Right. And prayer will fix a situation. Yes. All right. Amen. Be the Lord. Wait on the Lord and be of what? Good, Good courage. Good. Man. And he will. Yeah. All right, hey, amen. Praise reports here. Uh, little daughter, Nana, one dollar. Yeah. Uh, daughter, R Rosie, five dollars. Yeah. Baby Faith, one dollar. Yeah. Little Joy, one dollar. Yeah. Brother Daniel, one dollar. Zion Joy Smith, five dollars. Phil Savannah, steadily growing up. One dollar. Pretty soon I can't call Phil Savannah no more. Senior <laughs> right. Brooks, three hundred dollars. Evangelist Samaya, one hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, Deacon Victor, I believe that's two 
hundred dollars. Evangelist Rogers, glory. Who she gave a powerful envelope last week, yeah. right back, three hundred and thirty dollars. Daniel Ricky Smith, four hundred dollars. Evangelist Shiloh. Mm -hmm. $3,900. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody loves you. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The sacrifice that we make yes. are above measure. Yes. They are above the normalcy mm -hmm. of what the individual is able to to make. Mm -hmm. But they make the sacrifices, even the little children, yes. with yes. candy bars. Yes. All them slippers. Yes. 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 I'm put this dollar in the envelope for the church. Yes. Why is that? Somebody taught them yes. to give unto the Lord. Yes. And in due season, the Lord will bless you. Mm -hmm. I thank God for the spirit and true light. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for true light. Yeah. Hallelujah. And never again be discouraged because of numbers. Mm -hmm. right. God ain't never looked at no numerical equation right. to judge his people. Amen. He said you shall know them by their fruit. Just yeah. right. mm -hmm. watch their life. All right. Hallelujah. And I thank God for I want to hear from the bells uh, before I start my message. You know, I'm going to go as far as I can, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I had made mention the other night that 95% of people who claim to be saved don't have the slightest concept concerning the doctrine of Christ. And keep in mind, Paul said, it's the doctrine, the teachings, right. the instructions mm -hmm. right. that save you. Amen. A child can have the highest IQ in the school. Mm -hmm. But if the teacher does not teach them ABCs, right. I don't care how high that IQ is, Man. they'll never learn how to read and write. Right. So thank God for the teaching. I thank God for the young ministry house growing and growing and growing. And always remember, God chose you for such a time as this. Make no mistake about it. They're trying their best to wind up that war over there in Eastern Europe. Trying their best talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. But pretty soon it's going to happen. Right. If not that one, another one. It'll come along. Mm -hmm. And the bombs are going to start flying. And who knows? Mm -hmm. Did not the Bible say the world be destroyed by fire the next time? Right. Man. Right. And an atomic bomb or hydrogen bomb explodes with a ram of fire. Mm -hmm. And all of them got atomic bombs. Right. All of them have hydrogen bombs. It doesn't matter who's going to drop the first one first. Right. The other is going to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. And you know where they're aiming? At the metropolitan cities. Yeah. Once you destroy the metropolitan cities, the rest of the country eventually will die. Right. So it's best to look at the signs of time. Mm -hmm. Hear me, church. Right. And to those, if the Lord bless us to be back on YouTube, if not, go to our church web. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, we should be up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. But one thing is for certain. When you see these signs of time, you better run to a whole in church. Right. And get yourself anchored and grounded and tell the devil, I'm not going nowhere. Right. One day, you're going to die. Right. Every living soul mm -hmm. one day is going to die. That's right. What you going to do after that? Mm -hmm. 
Where are you going to spend eternity? So when God made the supreme sacrifice at Calvary, he had to redeem a lost people back to God, which he was. And nobody can make the sacrifice but God. Right. And I told you before, he put on a human body mm -hmm. and stepped down from his throne in glory. Right. And walked the earth and was handled among men. Mm -hmm. And we see the wrath of humanity, mm -hmm. how they would not accept him. Mm -hmm. Even when he blessed them by the seaside, blessed them. Mm -hmm. Yet a few weeks later, a few months later, when they asked for someone to be crucified and someone to be set free between two personalities. Yeah. One was wrong, the other one was right. Mm -hmm. Say they said, crucify the one that's right and set free the one that's wrong. Mm -hmm. You see that climate today. They want to hurry up and try every way they can to keep us off YouTube and to try to keep us off YouTube. Yeah. Why? What have we done? We ain't cursed. Right. We ain't used no profanity. Right. We ain't never acted up soon. Right. The only thing we ever do, did was to tell the truth. Right. Man. And if someone does not tell the truth and does not point out the error, if there's no teacher to teach the ABCs, how are the people going to learn to read and write? Right. How are the people going to learn how to be saved? Right. Man, I want to hear from the Bell and Joy as they sang, uh, God will take care of you. Amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord.
Amen. I know it's people in here this morning. If you can turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. I want my reader to read from verse 23. I think through verse 26. And uh, let the church understand this morning. I'm not going to be before you long, but so now I feel this is very important. Understand that we have a choice to make once we come into the understanding of God. And once we understand the importance of a separated people, that's so very important. And not being influenced by someone who is not saved. As I forestated before I uh, came up the second time, uh, 95% of the people think they saved. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, they're just as lost as the devil is. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, you're not free to read. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Uh -huh. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. Don't never be too smart not to hear the gospel message. Amen. And never try to cross-reference the preacher. Amen. Because you can cross-reference yourself without the Bible. Amen. Amen. Intellectual schools of theology all are established by the foundation work of the Roman Catholic Church. Yes. Trinity. And there's no such thing as a trinity. Amen. That's why you can't find the word trinity in the Bible. Amen. God is one. And we honor our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he is the one true God eternal. And the Lord who made everything the scripture says was made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. So I thank God again, and my related honor, we certainly honor the God of all creation and the Lord of both Testament and the real name of the New Testament church is Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Read on, reader. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Now turn to uh, Isaiah 59. And I want you to jump right into verse 1. The Bible gives us a set of rules. The message of holiness is to try to separate people from their natural condition yes. and their natural belief yes. to put aside that logical and rational behavior and belief and hold on to the engrafted word of truth. Whether you can understand how God parted the Red Sea, that has nothing to do with your salvation. Amen. But you got to believe that he parted the Red Sea. Right. Though they ain't looking for a Noah's Ark, ain't nobody found Noah's Ark yet. Right. And probably won't. Right. But that don't believe there wasn't no Noah's Ark. Right. So sometimes, brothers and sisters, you've got to separate yourself from the world and people with a strong influence. Because they will turn you from serving God and believing in the Bible and to believing in a myth that is created by mankind. Yes. Right. Mankind going to die. Right. I don't care how smart he is. Right. I don't care how much money he got. Right. President, kings, all got to stand for the judgment throne of God. Right. Bible says both rich and poor, bond and free. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we today have got to understand and keep in a perfect mindset it's all about the kingdom of God. My giving is for the kingdom, not for myself. My personal sacrifice is for the kingdom, not for myself. Or to be separated from loved ones and be, and you might say in the natural, live a lonely life. I'd rather be lonely and have Jesus and have the whole comfort of the world and be lost. Me. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. 
But your iniquities have separated you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue has muttered perverseness. Uh -huh. None call it for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Brothers and sisters, until you are converted, all of these applications apply to you. Yes. You're liable to serve your purpose. Yeah. And somebody said, well, yes, a good line is a little lie. Well, not really. Okay. It depends on the content of your heart. I explained many times before concerning, and, and let me say this. A willful sin, and a sin that's not under death, has to be explained. And those who are of that 95% do have the slightest concept of a willful sin. Yeah. Now, again, is there such a thing as a big lie and a little lie? Well, not really, but if I tell you to meet me at the church tomorrow at 12 o'clock and I come at 5 after 12, I still told a lie. Right. Yeah. Was that a little lie? No, it's really not a lie, but it's a, might say, a figure of speech. Yes. Yeah. Because a lie must first come from down on the inside. All right. yeah. The lie comes from trying to deceive. Yeah. And as long as there's no deception, then it's not held as a willful act of sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So it's not correct. So I'm saying we have to always be aware of the intent and purpose of life. And that is to try to live a life that's above board. Man. For real with God. And let's not try to use little uh, uh, sequences. And say, oh yeah, but that's still a lie. Well, but is it of a willful intent? And since the majority of 95% don't even understand about the willful sin. You hear them all the time saying, well, all sins are the same. Did the Bible say that? Or did the Bible say all unrighteousness is sin? But it said there's a sin that's not unto death. But there's a sin unto death. I don't say pray for the sin unto death. I say you can make a request. But God is saying, even though you pray for it, I ain't got to honor it. But if you pray for someone who sins not unto death, I would honor that prayer. And people misconceive that passage of scripture. God hears not a sinner's prayer. You've got to understand the dimensions there. Yeah, right. When I was saved, unsaved rather, and I was crying out for God, and said, Lord, save me. He heard that prayer. Because right. here I am today. Right. And here you are. But if I have to race back and bet my last $10 on that, on that nag, hallelujah, and you come in dead last, Lord, please, let him win. I will give half the money to the church. Glory. God ain't paying no attention to a prayer like that. Amen. So we have to put the Bible in its proper context in order for us to understand the word of the Lord. And brothers and sisters, it's always a decision. I'm getting to the thrust of my teaching now. It's always a decision or a choice an individual must make. So the Bible comes to guide us in the way of holiness that we have the inner strength to make the right choice and not the wrong choice. If I make the right choice to serve God, then I put aside the fleshly desires and follow God through a disciplined code. I'm going to discipline myself. Even though I'm alone, in a lonely place, all by myself, I'm still going to believe in God. And I'm still going to trust in God. And I'm not going to entertain friendships or any type of loved ones that have been conflict with my God in my church. I don't want nothing to do with that. I won't separate myself from that. Because it hurts in the natural. Oh, yes, it hurts in the natural. Nobody in the world wants to be lonely. Who doesn't want a friend every now and then? But if it means for me to walk alone, and still seek my goal, which is righteousness in Christ Jesus, I'm going to do that. I'm going to follow the word of God. Now, watch two examples. Let's use Abner and Daniel. Both knew about Jehovah God. They had to because they were of the Hebrew family. Now, it doesn't say Abner was a Benjamite like 
King Saul, who he followed. Yes. But the chances are he probably was a Benjamite. Because when the Civil War, Saul and David took place. Now, David of the household of Judah, those of Judah followed David. But those of the Benjamite family followed King Saul. That's why you had two armies. Right. And at one time, Saul's army had an advantage over David. But David still held on because he knew in whom he served. Amen. Brother and sister, it does not matter what is up you up against on your job or whatever situation, you're always going to get the victory. Amen. Even though it don't look like it. But because I know I've got the victory, does that mean I stop praying? No, no, you've got to keep on praying. Because sometimes you've got to pray your way through the storm. And sometimes you've got to pray to God and Lord help. My unbelief. Lord, I see the circumstances and I don't fight. It don't look like it's adding up right. But Lord, help my unbelief. Now, Abner was a commander of the host of King Saul. But at one time, during the intense of the struggle, David's army and Saul's army, Abner made the decision to leave the camp of King Saul yeah. and join in with David. Hallelujah. Right. Now, when you make a decision, I, you have heard this before, but I'm coming up to where I want to go. Yes. When you make a decision like this, it's sort of like the decision Esther had to make. Come they go for the king unannounced. Come on. And two things, you either going to accept my petition or kill me. Right. Same as this dispensation of time back then. Yeah. Either the king accepted your petition we had so you cut his head off. He ain't right. Lord. Abner had to make that decision. Yeah. And he went before David and got the right hand of fellowship. Now listen, folks. When David gave him the right hand of fellowship, this protected him from any other adversaries who might say, yeah, I remember uh, when Abner was on the other side. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But when David gave him the right hand of fellowship, everybody else, get back. Right. When God saves you, Everybody who comes against you better get back and be more. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care what God is. Yes. Or what situation it may be. Hallelujah. If God be for you, who can be against you? Oh, hallelujah. So when Abner got the right hand of fellowship, yes. now again, Daniel, he was told not to pray because the king had issued a decree. Yes. And they don't pray no more for a while. But Daniel went home, and the Bible said he opened up his windows. Yes. Did he know the spies was there? Sure he did. But Daniel had to prove a point to God and to the heathen and also to himself. Right. 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 He had been praying, praise God, every day. Yes. At the same time, yes. at the same time, after he heard the decree, he went to open up his windows. Did he know the spies was there? He probably did. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. But he prayed like he always prayed. Yeah. And when the spies went and told the king, he said, well, arrest him and bring him here. Yeah. Now they're going to put Daniel in the lion's den for disobeying a decree from the king. Yeah. Hear me? Lord. Sometime when you go on your job, and sometimes when they tell you, well, you got to help us put up this Christmas decoration, sometimes you got to make a decision for God and not to the world. Yeah. Even though it may cost you a job. Right. 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 But prayer changes a situation. Prayer can take you from death's doorway to a victory down the road. And right today, I don't take no prescription medicine. I ain't got no prescription. I ain't got to take prescription medication. Hallelujah. If God will live with me, I'm going to have to finish it. Daniel was put in the lion's den, which was the former capital punishment. They didn't feed the lion until they had a condemned prisoner. Then they put in the lion's den. That's how the lions ate. So you know, amen, when Daniel got in there, the, the, their mouths were pretty much watering. Amen. They put Daniel in the lion's den. Abner got the right hand of fellowship, which showed all Hebrew people he's protected by David. And David don't give his right hand of fellowship yeah. 
that was very important in that dispensation of time as it is today. Right. Right here, the fellowship means, all right, we are in agreement in serving the Jehovah God. Right. Now, why would Saul, or rather uh, Abner, yes. let an infidel See, everybody in David Army wasn't saved. Right, oh, glory. Right, Why would Abner allow for someone to come to him and cause him to leave away from his protection and take him outside the realm of safety? Yeah. He took him outside the gates of room, took him outside the church. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, you see where I'm going. Yeah. And tell him to leave his Bible back there. Mm -hmm. Leave your sword. All right. Right. Well, got mine. Uh, <laughs> and took him outside the gate. Now, listen. Joab knew what he was doing. Yes. That's why he didn't kill him inside the gate. Right. He yes. took him outside the gate. Right. Well, the protection of David was no longer. If you leave the church, hear me. You have no protection. Yes. Stay it. In the church of God. They covered for the blood of Jesus. And they go get the other devil attack. And when they're wrecking Papa, stay in the church of God. They covered by the blood of Jesus. That's the word of God around you. They came up in the world. It's solidified in the world. So you can see the world. Is that now outside the gate? The Bible said he smote him between, the, I think, the third and fifth rib. And killed him, great God dead. Daniel put in the lion's den. And no matter what influence came against him, he went on into the lion's den. He listened to what nobody told him. And I imagine there were many, because Daniel was a very influential person and sat at the king's table at dinner time. Now you know he had many advisors and friends. But when it comes to making a decision to pray to God, but I knew, he knew the decree was issued. Yeah. I'm still going to pray. Hallelujah. I can't stop praying. Amen. Oh, King, I think it's a thing here forever. Amen. I'm not going to stop praying. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That's why he's in the spies there. Amen. And know at a certain time, he opened up his windows to pray. Why? Because he wants the world to know. Yes. I'm oh. loving Jesus. Oh. I'm going to serve my God. Oh. I'm still going to that stinky fight. Oh. I'm still going to wear my head covered. Bible says that Daniel went to the lions, then laid down and went to sleep. But the devil who put him there, the Bible says he tossed and turned all night long. Why? He was worried about Daniel. But Daniel in the lion, he knew him. Oh, yes, he was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you hear me? Yeah. That was in the lion's den, and the king was on a bed of silk. Yeah. But he couldn't sleep, and Daniel slept like a baby. Yeah. Yeah. What was the difference between Abner and Daniel? Both had a choice to make. Yeah. Right. Abner made the wrong choice, and Daniel made the right choice. Yeah. Church, you yeah. had nobody talking or influencing you into making the wrong choice. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be your friend.
Encouraging us to stay up under the blood, like the Lord told the prophet Moses, you know, paint the um, take a, a, a lamb without spot, yeah. wrinkle, blemish, paint it over the doorpost, and tell the Hebrew people to come in, you know, yeah. and stay, you know, because yeah. it's uh, it's uh, safety up under the blood. But anybody leave from up under the blood, you know, death is out there, you know, right. and that's why prophet is encouraging us stay in the church, stay yeah. up under the blood, yeah. you know, because it's nothing but death in the Thank God for um, you know our true life family. We small in number, but mighty in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I thank God for all the love that's here. You know, we always you know, be there for one another. You know? Thank God for Vance Wagner. Thank God for all Man. brothers and sisters. Because like I said, we're small, but we're powerful. We have a whole lot of love. You know, a whole lot of love. You know? and like the Bible mentions about love covers a multitude of sins, you know. You know, some sometimes, you know, we might have shortcomings, but we pray through them. Yeah. You know, and God always will give us the victory, you know. And um, uh, we just have to, like the uh, Bible say, hide the word in our heart that we might not sin against God. You know, we got to hide this word, you know, because we ain't going to never find a man of God like prophet. Well, <laughs> never. Yeah. You know. And I was thinking the other day, you know, about prophet is, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the powerful testimony, you know, I mean, yeah. powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Overcame death, sickness, I mean, you know, oh, all yeah. the do it for many yeah. years, you know, for yeah. all the time to be, you know, and you know, you know, you did a walk of miracles. Yeah. 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 And I had uh, talked to uh, Diamond one day, and she told me he fighting that thing. And that puts some encouragement in my soul. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said he fighting that thing. I said, thank God. You know, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes going through tests and trials, sometimes you be ready to, hey, I'm ready to get my reward, you know. But I thank God the prophet won't hang on in there with his family. David wasn't a perfect man, you know, but the, the David, you know, he knew how to get a prayer through. You know? Amen. David, he, you know, like the Bible prophet mentioned about on Wednesday, I believe, about blessing mm -hmm. our pure in heart. You yes. know? In other words, somebody for real sincere, you know. And we know David was sincere, you know. He yeah. Lord, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up big time. He didn't care who seen, who said this, who said that. I'm right. trying to get back in favor with God. And just like, and I'm closing, you know, just like when that ark left. You know, when David seen that art, art coming back into the room, mm -hmm. he dead. Yeah, <laughs> dead out of the You know, yeah. he right he, he made himself like a fool. She said, I'm going to get more vile than this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you see your blessing coming, yeah. mm -hmm. we see your prophet come back, we see that all, all blessing coming. We all get that. Yeah. 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 God is good. Yeah. You know, I got it. 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 I got